Hey guys, the first thing you gotta do is get some new fabric. I went to Walmart where they have an okay selection. They did have some fall prints set aside and that's where I found this super cute chevron print. So I threw that in my cart along with this reddish, orangish colored fabric and this acorn looking one and this orange one that reminded me of a pumpkin. I also picked up some needles for only a dollar and some all purpose thread. The color doesn't matter too much and I'm very indecisive so I just got this neutral shade. You'll also need an iron, scissors, heat and bond, or another fabric freezer, and pins. Just a quick tip when you're looking for fabrics, you want to find fabrics that have texture to them, whether it's a physical texture or a visual texture, like the chevron. I'm going to show you how to recover this pillow here with the chevron fabric, since it's a little more tricky than if you were to cover a pillow with a solid color fabric. So for the first couple of steps, you'll need your scissors and pins. If you're lucky, your pillow will have a cover that will just slip right off. You'll see later that this makes measuring out your new fabric really easy. When fabric is measured out and cut at the store, it doesn't necessarily mean that the fabric was originally put onto the boat folded perfectly. So this was the case with the fabric here. So I'm just lining up the pattern on the front with the one on the back and I'm using the points on the bottom as a guide to make sure the fabric is cut perfectly horizontal and not tilted. Next you'll just want to cut this extra little bit of fabric off and this will leave you with a straight edge and a pattern that is perfectly straight. Now just flip the fabric right side out and line up the edges. Here's where you'll be thankful for the removable cover. You just have to line the cover up with the bottom and side edges, then cut 2-3 to three inches away from the edges both on the side and above the cover. If your pillow doesn't have a removable cover, then don't worry. All you have to do is lay the pillow down between the folded piece of fabric, then measure outward. Next you'll need to grab your pins. Ideally straight pins, I think they're called straight pins, would be a lot more quick, but I already had these safety pins and they work just as well. Take your first pin and pin both sides of the fabric at the very bottom on the square and closely to the edge. Pin about every 5 inches or so, like this. Once you've pinned the length of both sides, it's time to sew. Start from the bottom and pull the needle upwards. Now you'll just feed the needle up and down a couple of times and it'll look something like this. Then just pull the needle through and give it a little tug. You want to make sure that you're binding the two fabrics well. My mom taught me this trick where you leave the pillowcase inside out and pinch the corners of it, then grab the corners of the pillow and then just pull the cover over. It's so much easier. On each side of the pillow, you're going to fold the fabric over so the edges won't be unfinished and super ugly. Again, it's super helpful to use the print on the fabric as a guide. For this next step, you'll need two pins. Then you'll take the pin and pin together both folded sides to keep it in place. We finally made it to the last step where we'll use the heat and bond. Lay the pillow down on its side and measure out how much of it you'll need. place the strip on the bottom fabric. Next you'll move the pins from the sides, then lay the other side on top of it and then place the iron on it for just a few seconds. 
Make sure your iron seam is turned off and to read the instructions on the fabric fuser box thing to see how long you should leave the iron on.